let's understand the principles of Chebyshev's theorem. This will be fun. All right. So when a district distribution is not symmetric, that's when we can use Chebyshev's theorem. Um, if we have a symmetric, then we use the empirical rule or other normal distribution pieces. But not symmetric, we have some, some issues. So Chebyshev's theorem says that 1 minus k squared gives us a value, which we can turn into a percent, and that's the percentage of data that falls within k standard deviations of the mean. So if we want to know about two standard deviations from the mean, so k would be 2, we'd have 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 1 fourth, which gives me 3 fourths, 0.75. That's 75% of data falls within two standard deviations of the mean. That's what uh, Chebyshev's theorem says. So a professor gave a test with skewed results. The mean is 72 with a standard deviation of 3. Use Chebyshev's theorem to estimate the percentage of students that fall between the scores 67.5 and 76.5. So first of all, we've got to think, okay, if I look at, um, let's start with 76.5, and we know the mean is 72. So how far away are we? And we get 4.5. Well, same with 67.5, subtract the mean, we get negative 4.5. So we need to look at how does 4.5 compare to 3? Well, 3 times 1.5 gives me 4.5. Or you could have taken 4.5 divided by 3 and you get 1.5. So these two values, 67.5 and 76.5, are 1.5 standard deviations from the mean. That means k is 1.5. Okay. So if we want to know the percentage of students that fall between these scores, we would take 1 minus 1 over 1.5 squared. So this is the same as 1 minus 1 over 2.25. And I'm going to plug that into my calculator. So I'm just going to type in 1 minus 1 divided by 2.25, because calculators do order of operations, and I get 0 0.5555 repeating, which means roughly... 55.56% of students will fall between the scores 67.5 and 76.5 using Chebyshev's theorem. Let's do one more. If the mean of a data set is 52 with a standard deviation of 2.5, we would expect what percentage of data to fall between what two values if we want the data to be three standard deviations from the mean. Now, we're finding a couple different things here. So first, let's go for the percentage. If we know we want three standard deviations from the mean, that means k is 3. So if I do 1 minus 1 over 3 squared, that's the same as 1 minus 1 over 9. And again, if I type that into my calculator, 1 minus 1 divided by 9, I get 0 0.8888 repeating, which is roughly 88.9%. So that's what I'm going to plug in up here. 88.9% of data to fall between what two values? Well, if the data value is 52, and I want three standard deviations below the mean. Okay, so below means I'm going to subtract, and three standard deviations. So I'm going to take three, and I'm going to multiply by the standard deviation. And that's going to give me my lower region. So 52 minus 7.5 gives me... 44.5. So that's this value. To find the upper value, I would take 52 plus 3 times 0.25, because 3 standard deviations, that's what this means, 3 times 2.5. So I get 52 plus 7.5, which is 59.5. And that's the upper, upper part. So I can now say if the mean of a set of data is 52 with a standard deviation of 2.5, we would expect 88.9% of data to fall between 44.5 and 59.5 if we want the data to be three standard deviations of the mean. from the mean. I should note that this is if we have like not symmetric data set, right? Because if it is symmetric, then we would use the normal distribution. But here we're using Chebyshev's theorem, which means we are dealing with a not symmetric piece of data.